Welcome to Travelog. This trip, we're gonna go to Changsha. Yes, in case you don't know where Changsha is, let me draw a map, a draft. Here, it's very draft China. Beijing is here. And you go down south, in the center of China is Changsha. If you come from New York, that's east. Then, then Paris west, Moscow on the top is north, and downstairs Australia. But we're gonna go to Changsha on this trip. To have some fun. Are you ready? Let's go. Changsha, the earliest settlement, was probably founded in the first millennium BC. By 202 BC, it was already a fortified city. During the Han Dynasty, it was also the capital of Changsha Kingdom. The celebrated Ma Wangdui tombs of the Han Dynasty were constructed between 186 and 165 BC. Yue Lu Academy was founded in 976 Song Dynasty, destroyed by war in 1127, and rebuilt in the year 1165. Changsha is a city that has a very long history. Tianxin Pavilion, translated in English, it's a sky hard pavilion. It's the center of Changsha. It's also the highest point of the city. From here, we can trace back Changsha's history for thousands of years. Changsha got its name in the time of Western Chu. In spring and autumn period and the warriors' state period, Changsha was a strategic area in the southern part of the Chu country. Changsha has about 3,000 years of history. It used to be one of the prosperous metropolitan in the past. There are many commercial shops, schools, and businesses in downtown area. During the Chinese Civil War, Changsha was controlled by Kuomintang Party. In 1938, when the Japanese intruder marched down to the south of China, Changsha was damaged by arson. The fire lasted for five days and five nights. Changsha City Protection Wall has been remodeled many times throughout the whole history. From the bricks, we can tell the different time period. From those words carved on the stone, we can tell that's from Ming Dynasty. And this one, right behind me, a brownish color made of local mud, it's from 2,000 years ago. Gosh, I can't believe I touched something 2,000 years ago. Man, I feel young. Huh? 
Yuelu Academy is one of the well-known and the largest college in Song Dynasty of China. It's about uh, a thousand years ago. So by that time, uh, people come over here, most of scholars and students pay great respect to this college. It's a serious place. Uh, for example, that also important place. And the Zhen Zhong, the emperor of Song Dynasty, inscribed the four characters on top of the main gate. And on both sides, left and right, the character says, this is the greatest place on earth. And only people from Changsha are the smartest people from the entire world. If you disagree, I know why. You're not from Changsha. The Academy has witnessed more than a thousand consecutive years of history and is the only one of the ancient Chinese academies of classical learning to have evolved into a modern institution of higher learning. The historical transformation from Yuelu Academy to Hunan University can be seen as the epitome of the development of China's higher education, a change which mirrors China's education system. As one of the four most prestigious academies over the last 1,000 years in China, it has been a famous institution of higher learning, as well as a center of academic activities and cultures since it was formally set up in 976. In the past, the people worshipped Confucius in China in various ways. For example, scholars and professionals by building temples and colleges to pay the respect. And parents also worship Confucius for better education for their children. It's a serious matter, everybody with a serious face. You know, you look at the temple, look at the uh, you know, statues, you can't do phases. So, this is not allowed. That's it's bad, so I have to go out to make, oh, I'm sorry, I have to go out to make that face. Let me do some translations here. According to the regulations of Yolo Academy, Everything is sincere and serious. For example, they publish the rules. If your parents die, you cannot laugh and joke for three years. You have to pay the respect. And if you're married, especially for girls, if your husband dies, you have to be single all your life. So they're all serious matters. Start all from the school. But today, it's quite different. I'm going to meet some of my friends from all over the world. I think they have lots of fun today. Here they come. In general, there are not that many foreign residents in Changsha. However, a common place that is definitely attractive to everyone is the Hunan University and Yuanlu Academy, that I found some foreign teachers living and working here. What kind of band? We play rock. Mostly it's heavy metal or? Just kind of lighter college rock. I heard it's like you play the on TV or local. Uh, it's true. some stories, right? Um, yeah, our our band just formed a little while ago, but then they had this opportunity. They're like, "We'll we'll play on TV," and so we got a few songs together and we just did this show. So where are you from? Where do you? Uh... Um, I'm also from from America. I'm I'm teaching here. This is my second year teaching. Uh, I started off. Oh, at, you are teachers. I was just thinking, <laughs> you guys look so young. You're students. Well, I just graduated from college, so I haven't been here for that long. Okay. So, I guess I am pretty pretty young. Every time I get in a cab, people ask me where I'm studying. Mm -hmm. So, I see. So, are you teaching uh, English here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm teaching at at Huda, teaching English literature and, and stuff to students. It's Would been you, great. What we'll, we'll kind of give us a, a example? What kind of things you teach them? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been teaching them. Out uh, of party? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. No. Uh, yeah, but not in class, maybe, but uh, uh, teaching them novels mostly this year which has been great and they're just really really smart and so we've been reading the great gatsby and stuff like that so actually you guys is not like a tourist or travelers or foreigners anymore if i ask you so one word one sentence uh. to describe this uh, place changsha what do you think it's hot friendly 
hospitable, noisy, and fun. How about you? I was gonna give the one word answer, and that's just la. Oh. I just think, yeah, <laughs> including the people, the, the food, and Is everything. Does he you know the difference, Hunan and Sichuan? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. In Hunan, we don't, we don't eat the, uh, the mala, mm -hmm. just, just kind of la. So. I like the word, we don't use that. That's, you include oh. yourself as well yeah. up already. <laughs> well, every day you eat here, Great. so. Yeah. To tell you the truth, uh, one sentence is not enough. <laughs> so I, would, I will just say one word. Okay. <laughs> Friendship. Well, these guys just took, took the two things I was going to say. I was going to say <laughs> hot, and then I was going to say something about friendship. But this I, I think too close to each other. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep away from them. <laughs> <laughs> What's your sentence? Yeah. Um, just lovely, lovely people, I think. Mm -hmm. I just been, just loved the, the people here have made, I think, the deepest impression on me. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet Have you. fun in the school. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks. And a <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Taiwan Pavilion lies in the Qingfeng Gorge and was built in the year of 1792. Its original name is Red Leaf Pavilion, and later, according to the poem written by Du Mu, the name was changed. Mao Zedong once played and studied here, and the remaining tablet was written by Mao Zedong in the year 1950. Lushan Mountain have the great uh, combination. There's a Hunan University on bottom of the foot of the mountain. Then you come up, there's a Lushan Academy we mentioned earlier. It's beautiful. And you keep going up, but there's Lushan Old Temple. It's a famous temple. It's the oldest one in Hunan province. I would like to go to check out the monks. I heard they have some interesting rules. Let's go check it out. Lushan Temple lies in the hillside of the mountain. It was built in AD 268 and later was destroyed and repaired for several times. It was rebuilt in the year 1980. Talk about rules, I have heard a very interesting rules for this temple. For example, the younger monks can only watch TV till 7 o'clock and the older ones can watch it till 9 o'clock. But if you're leader of this temple, you can watch TV all night long. Those youngs can only watch TV till 7 o'clock. Today, most monks living in the Buddhist temple are religious students and researchers. Everyday life inside the temple is more or less quite civilized. Yuelu Mountain is the best getaway place from Changsha City. It's quite beautiful. As a matter of fact, the famous Hunan University, just located at the bottom of this mountain, a lot of students come over here, not only do their studies, but many of them start their romance from this beautiful park. If you use just one word to describe the Yuelu Mountain, I agree with the students of Hunan University. It's romantic. Because in this area, there's 30,000 students living in this mountain area. Every day after class, you see couples everywhere. It's a love affair. They make me feel lonely. To prevent avian flu, you should avoid touching birds, poultry, or their droppings. And wash hands frequently. Make sure that all foods from poultry, including eggs, are thoroughly cooked before eating. When traveling outside Hong Kong, avoid visiting poultry markets and farms. Do not bring any birds or poultry back to Hong Kong. If you develop fever and respiratory symptoms after your trip, wear a mask and consult your doctor explaining your travel history.
Hunan silk embroidery design is well known for rich colors, comparable to an oil painting, and realism comparable to a photography. The unique technique of Hunan embroidery provides a means for threads of different colors to mix naturally, resulting in a very harmonious effect. What I'm looking at right now is a special piece. It's a piece of art. It's called Double Size and Borders. What they did is they saw in this, take a look at this horse. You take a look at this side, it's a beautiful horse. It's a picture. And you look at the back, it's also a picture. So this requires special skills because you have to hide the needles and the threads. And there's higher level quality, it's double size, but the two different pictures. For example, you look at the one size dog, the another side is cat. So, but it takes a long time. For the skill worker finish, this one takes about one or two months. Just like a thread by thread, needle by needle. The shell style and border is very detail oriented. For example, they can duplicate picture just exactly. And also need some special skills. For example, a skilled worker can split the threads to hundreds different threads and so on. So need good fingers, good eyes, and some skills. Like this girl work on this picture, it takes about two to three months to finish one picture. Colorful combinations consisting of silk, floss, or cotton thread are used depending on the particular aspect of needlework, appreciated to the subject form. From my research, I learned that Ma Wangdui tomb it really reflects the prosperous period of Han Dynasty in China. Back then, they have a really good lifestyle. They have music, dance, ballroom dance, big stage shows. So let's go inside to take a look at the items that can prove what I just told you. Let's go. Ma Wangdui Museum displayed the early Han period tombs of a noble family excavated at Ma Wangdui are among the most important archaeological discoveries of the past quarter century. The astonishing state of the preservation of one of the tombs. The um, location is about uh, four kilometers from downtown Changsha. Including the mummified corpse of the maskers of Dai and precious materials such as lacquer painted wood and silk textiles. In addition, the tomb contains manuscript texts of versions of classic scriptures from early Chinese philosophical schools. The tombs also contain the silk funerary paintings which offer insights into early imperial age mythologies. The tombs were discovered in 1972 during construction work at Ma Wangdui, about four kilometers northeast of Changsha, and the excavation was completed in 1974. This sculpture duplicated from the original map is a physical chart for exercise. It indicates back 2,000 years ago, people really, really want to be healthy, so they are really exercise a lot. It's a uh, different styles, different positions. For example, that for your arm, and also good for your back, if you do that. Oh, and that, ow! The best preserved entirely undisturbed tomb was that of the Marquis of Dai, or Xindui, buried about 180 BC, whose husband was a minor nobleman in charge of administering the region of Changsha. The tomb walls were surrounded by layers of charcoals and pounded clay, which seemed to have been instrumental in keeping the moisture level constant and preventing the decay of the corpse and other tomb contents. 
The actual coffin was buried 20.5 meters deep underground. And this is extra size. The body of the old lady was buried in the middle and the spaces around it fulfilled with the rich items, silk, lacquerware. You know, it's a rich old lady. It's nice to be rich, even you're dying. Baisha Old Well has brought fresh water for Changsha people through hundreds of years since the Song Dynasty. For example, this wall is recorded in different dynasty. Artists written water in different shapes in Chinese character. Dongjin Dynasty, Sui Dynasty, Song Dynasty, water, water, more water, more water, endless water. Every day, Changsha people come here together drinking water. It's quite a scene right now. And they take all kinds of containers, and some people come by bike, motorcycle, cars. I even seen two soldiers come here by fire truck to get this fresh water. Can you give me a like I said, it's longevity water. You drink this, you can live forever. The Baisha water is so famous. Make the Baisha liquors, Baisha cigarettes, Baisha restaurants, Baisha tea house. This water named the Baisha, and after the Baisha, they make everything. Temple is the best choice for tasting the local cuisine. It has over 100 years of history with various unique items in the tea house, food court, and banquet style restaurant. However, there are more than one fire temples in Changsha City. Only the one on Bozi Street is original. The fire palace has started as a temple for people come here pray to the fire god to protect their business and home. And then in the 19th century, and they start to develop it, import it more equipment, such as fire truck. In the recent years, this place has been redeveloped. New restaurants opened, offers gourmet Hunan food. And every weekend, they invite artists performing here. So visitors should come over here to taste the gourmet Hunan food and see some beautiful shows. Especially, you can get the best stinky tofu right here in the restaurant behind me. in the fire temple compound. It's very busy in the morning. Open six o'clock in the morning. Every day there is uh, three, four hundred people come over here. People come here, enjoy the environment here, social with the friends, talk about the families, each other's, you know, business. And also some antique collectors come here to make a business deal. <laughs> Huge 
huge cup, isn't it? A cup of tea only costs two yuan. Thank you. As a fake head chef, let me introduce you some real Hunan gourmet. First of all, our favorite dish is this big giant fish head. It's cooked, steamed, soaked in the oil, top is pepper, very spicy. Second one is very special. It's a turtle hat. You might don't like it, me neither, but it's local special. Let me go on the third one. It's the beef, come take a close look. It's a beef stomach, and then the stinky tofu. You want to know how stinky, come, come over here, don't run away. You want to know how stinky it is? Let me tell you, if I push it towards the TV set, don't run, you can smell it at home. But it tastes very good. There we go. Here we have the real Hunan Gourmet. So ask me, which one you like the first? As early as the Western Han Dynasty, which is 2,100 years ago, the cooking skills of a Hunan cuisine reached the high standard. What am I going to have today? Maybe I start with a little fish, beef, pork, chicken, a little shrimp, scallop. Well, let me have some tea first. The food here is very good. And the tea even better. Hmm. Actually, it's still early. What should I do? What do you guys do after the meal? What I want to do? I really want to take a nap. All right, I think that's a good decision. I'm going to go take a nap. Hunan food is well known in the world. Come to Changsha, I start to understand. It's not only spicy, but also with its style. For example, this one is not a palace, it's a restaurant, Xihu Lao restaurant. According to Guinness Record Book, it's the biggest one in Asia. To make a full use of its rich natural resources, the owner of Xi Hu Lo restaurant created a wide variety of delicacies. Hunan cuisine consists of more than 4,000 dishes, among which more than 300 are very famous. Changsha people is well known for their easygoing attitude. Come to a luxury style of spending the spare time, there are many options. Sitting in a quiet local tea house, sipping a cup of a green tea is one of my favorite picks. In the weekend, Jiefang Street in downtown area is the most fully occupied district. Many bars and nightclubs will work diligently on showcase their specialties. Due to the entire hard working week, I passed this chance of visiting. But you can count on me. I will be back. <laughs>